himself through us and in us. Let's go to Matthew chapter 5. If you have your Bible, open your Bible. Oh, how I love it. I love this book. This book is so valuable. This book is so precious. It changed everything in my life. It says here, Therefore you shall be perfect. Therefore you shall be perfect just as your Father in heaven is perfect. 48. Therefore you shall be perfect just as your heavenly father in heaven is perfect. This is talking about perfection. Jesus, our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, He encouraging you and me to be perfect, to be complete, to be whole, perfect. But He's not saying the perfection of man. He says here, just as you have Father in heaven is perfect. There is a difference between perfectional man and a perfectional father. As this, it's also it's like it's the it's a difference between the goodness of man and the goodness of our father. You know, there is a man in the Bible calling Jesus good. And Jesus says, there's only one who is good, it's the God in heaven. Some people, they can say, oh, this is good. But God says, there is a difference between the goodness of man and the goodness of God. When you see God creates in the heaven in knowing, God creates in Genesis chapter 1. You see, every time you see something you have created, it says, it was good. God is good. The Bible says God is love and love is created. This means God creates because he is love. And when a good God creates something, when a good God creates, we can see in Genesis 1, it's all good. He saw everything he had created. The Bible says it was all very good. So good, the goodness of God is, is, is good. It's, it's perfect. There is no fault in there. There is no darkness in there. So here it says in Matthew 5 48. Therefore you shall be perfect. 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 Just as your heavenly Father in heaven is perfect. You can't be more perfect than your Father in heaven. But at the same time, Jesus encouraged us to be perfect like he is perfect. If you go to Ephesians, chapter 4, you I mean, first, which one? Eleven. Ah, eh, eh, when I was in Shonza, I didn't even go to work. I was so tired. Ah, I didn't even get any. I felt sick. Ah, no, we just had more wine. And also today, I feel very weak. Here, you must not jump in any way. Usually, I'm, you know, I'm jumping a lot. 
Shouting a lot. But you know, Paul, when he came to the Corinthians, he said, I was with it. I was not the Corinthians. When he came to the Corinthians, he was says, I was weak. I I was weak, I was afraid, and yes, and I was shaking. He was weak, he was afraid, and he was shaking. So it's the same, you know, if you and me were weak, afraid, and shaking, we qualify. Because anyway. it's not how talented we are, it's not how good we are, it's his goodness. In us, it's his ability in us. Jesus, God, the Bible says, God spoke through a donkey. He can use anyone. You know, the Bible says we are like the clay in the potter's hand. We are, we are the clay in the potter's hand. It means he can do whatever he wants. He is able. Okay, but now we're reading Ephesians 4 11. And he himself gave some to the apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers. 4 4 11. Chapter 4, chapter 4. He ended by for, uh, 11, and he himself gave some to the apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers, for the equipping of the saints, for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come to the unity of faith and the knowledge of the Son of God, to be perfect, to be a perfect man to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ.
Sometimes you take and you drink a bowl of water. Sometimes you take like one drop. And you feel satisfied. But after a while, you're thirsty again. You know? It's like that with the goodness of God. Sometimes it tastes like a drop in the ocean. But I tell you there is more for you. There is a whole ocean. An ocean of his goodness. An ocean of freedom and power. The bubbles of life. He wants you to just dive into this ocean. He wants you to dive into the ocean. Jump in the ocean. And swim around. Why? Why? We see in verse 13 that we will, it's because he wants us to come to unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God to a perfect man, a perfect. He wants us to become a perfect man. That's why he, that's why he gave us these ministers. He wants us to become perfect. He wants us to grow up. To be mature in him. Amen. And how do we do? How? How do we come to this, uh, this perfection? We can see. If you go to Galatians chapter 3, we just say, Oh, yeah, more. I'm going to tell you, 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 I'm going to Ninde wabaroze mwerezwe Yesu Kristo nkubambwe ku musaraba mu maso yanyu ibi byo nyine ibyo byo cyaka ko ibyo cyaka ko mumbwira mese imirimo itegetswe n'amategeko ndo yaba yabahesheje umwuka cyangwa se nuko mwumvise mukize muraba papa mucyo Natangiye ibyumwuka none ubiherukije ibyumubiri ya mwiba barunyishi mwari babarijwe ubusa niba yari yubusa niba yari yubusa koko mese ibahumuka igakora ibitangaza muri mwe ibikoreshwa nuko ibikoreshwa nuko mukore ibintu itegetswe n'amategeko Chango nuko mumvise mukizere nuko auramu Amen. Amen. It says, oh, foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you that you should not obey the truth before whose eyes Jesus Christ was clearly portrayed among you as crucified? This not this only I want to learn from you. Did you receive the Spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? Are you so foolish, having begun in the Spirit, are you now being made perfect, perfect by the flesh? Have you suffered so many things in vain, if indeed it was in vain? Therefore, He who supplies the Spirit to you and works miracles among you, does He do it by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? So what it says in verse in verse uh, one, before whose eyes Jesus Christ was clearly portrayed among you as crucified. And then it says in verse two, uh, did you receive the? 
spirit by the works of the Lord or by the hearing of faith. So they received the spirit first time, they received Jesus by the hearing of faith. They started the journey by the hearing of faith. But I says, Are you so foolish having begun in the spirit? Are you now being made perfect by the flesh? You see, again, talking about being made perfect. Therefore, he who's in verse 5, therefore, he who supplies the spirit and works miracles among you. Does he do it by the works of the Lord, by the hearing of faith? So it says that you, it means you will start in the spirit by the hearing of faith. And you're made perfect. 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 By the hearing of faith. So we need to bring Jesus back to the church. I don't know if this is a problem here. But I see many places in Europe. You know their servants are full of how to communicate and, and psychology. They preach communication and how to be successful. Uh, by the strategies of men. And where's Hebrew? For the Lord made nothing perfect. Hebrew 719. So the Lord made nothing perfect. The Lord made nothing perfect. Okay. 7.19 For the Lord made nothing perfect. Mm. On the other hand, it is there is the bringing in of a better home. Through which we draw near to God. The better home. Jesus. Is Jesus crucified? Jesus Christ The Lord make no, makes no, no one perfect. We can try your own strength to be made perfect. And we will fail. We will fail. Because by the Lord, nothing and no one is made perfect. But in Galatians 3, we can be made perfect through the hearing of faith. But hearing is not hearing one time. It's continual hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing. We allow the hearing of faith to influence our mind. The Bible says, Paul says in, in, in Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Uh, it says that be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So it makes that we can be transformed or life can be transformed by the renewing of our mind. How do we renew our mind? How can we renew our mind? It's when we listen and we hear and hear and hear and hear again. 
Every day, we must Every day, we must Every day, we must We are listening to the hearing of faith. Many times we want to start by the Spirit and it will be very perfect for it to be made perfect in the flesh. The Bible says that the fruit of the Spirit in Galatians 5.22 Love, joy, peace, long suffering and so on If we go to uh, John 7 And the glory which You know, we need to be covered by the blood of Jesus. You know, in the spiritual, in the spiritual, you, in one way, you will complete red like my shirt. Because you are covered completely with the blood of Jesus. You know, when that blood cries out in the spiritual realm, this blood cries out. The blood that covers you and marks you. The blood of Jesus Christ that this man and this woman is righteous. This man belongs to Jesus. I want to read from if you go to Romans 3. Four. Romans 4 actually. Five, five, one. Therefore, therefore having been justified by faith. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. You are justified by faith. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we see that the Lord is not a man. We are not a man. We are not a man. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we are at peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. We are not a man. 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 You are justified by faith in Jesus. By faith. By faith. By faith. Therefore we have peace with God. Therefore we have fellowship with God, communion with God. And through this fellowship, in this fellowship, in unity with God, we can be made perfect. Because perfection is the fruit of the unity with God. You know, fellowship with God is the root. Perfection is the fruit of that root. Jesus said in John 15, I am the one, you are the branch. If you abide in me and I in you, you will bear you. Where it says, we will be and uh, uh, being transformed into the same image from glory to glory. Just as by the Spirit of the Lord. It says where the Spirit of the Lord is the freedom. So it's His Spirit that will make you to be made perfect. And as we said, as we read in Galatians chapter 3, 
The spirit is given by the hearing of faith. And then we see that it's, it's supplied again and again and again continuously by the hearing of faith. And one day I had a dream and there was a voice saying to me, When your eyes is fixed, on Jesus. We do like, uh, when we do like the, the, the banana tree, tree, we just look to him. With our eyes fixed on him. When we just abide in fellowship with him. When our mind is concentrated about him. So many times that we are self-conscious. And we are conscious conscious about what's going on around us. We are conscious, we are conscious of our friends. And we are busy with ourselves. And we are busy with ourselves. It's my and it's, it's my kingdom, you know. Yeah. 
The faith which a prisera komeyo. Jesus crucified for us. Jesus Christ so yama the last place. He died in your place and in my place. Yet to a puga we a kapuganji. How we must preach to his heads. How we must preach to his heads. How we must preach to his heads. Perfection is the fruit. Fellowship is the root. Perfection is the fruit of the root. God bless you. Amen. Bless you, God bless you, Michael. Amen. 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 Amen.